When we were stationed in Fort Riley, Kansas, we actually thought about fostering and we had actually started the process, but then I found out I was pregnant with the twins and we decided right now was not the best time. When we moved up here, I was hired in at Jackson National Life and they were doing Christmas stockings for child and family charities. And I actually volunteered and while I was there, I talked to Linda about what the process was and everything and I talked to my husband about it and he said, well, we have plenty of room. At first we thought like, oh, well, we're a military family and they're not gonna like us. But then uh, she's like, nope, you're an average family. You have more than what some other families, uh, you create a, a structured home and uh, a lot of kids just wanna come and just be in a home where they ain't gonna worry about moving, they're loved. Now Josh is in our home, he is my son. He is part of our family and will forever be part of our family. Child and family charities, they've always been there. I've always felt comfortable calling them regardless of what the problem or the situation may be. Biologically, it's my husband and myself, and then we have four children, Liberty, who's 17, Destiny, 16, and then my twins, Gage and Harmony, just turned 15. My husband's stationed in Korea. He's been gone a little over a year. Through military career, I was kind of deployed a lot to Iraq and Afghanistan, so they kind of had to grow up a little bit faster, but they are very, very well-behaved, very well-mannered, and they're very open to other kids coming in. It took us about a month, month and a half to get back into a routine. About a year later is when we picked up on taking in foster kids again. It was a little awkward the first day or two because, you know, nobody knew each other and everything, but he really has became part of the family. He fits in really well. Like, he just doesn't feel like a foster kid. Like, he feels like one of my siblings. I helped, like, set up for his room, and, like, I wanted to be involved and help out and just, I was really excited when he was coming here. I personally was excited because I like having more kids in the family because it's fun. So when my dad gets home, we will think about adopting if he likes it here because I know we like him. There is so many children out there that need good supportive homes while their family is going through whatever it is that they're going through. To see the faces of these children and I mean, I've literally, I've had children brought to my house that it was in nothing but a diaper and a t-shirt because they were homeless. They, they need somebody to step up and be their advocate and to be there and to love them and to hold them. They need to know the good in the world. I think the biggest reason why people should care about fostering is, um, hold on, I want to tell you all in person.